What is going? I like that smile, man. That's a good smile. What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Svanko, and today I'm here with the one and only first place Niagara Regionals, Matthew Brisenden. What's up? Yeah, I think I said that right this time. Anyways, so uh, I wanted to do a deck profile because coming first place at any regional is always going to be impressive. This is a deck that you've been on for a long time, and uh, you're very comfortable, very confident on this deck, and I want to congratulate you on your first place. Thank you. Um, but other than that, I'm going to leave it to you. Go ahead. Uh, well, shout outs, I guess. Yep. Uh, shout outs to the boys, Mariano, David, Kevin, Yonko, Rehan. Uh, they all came out today. We had a good time. Uh, shout outs to Andrew, William, and Ryan, uh, the boys again. And then also shout outs to Steve and the council uh, who helped me with like practice and helped me build the deck. Uh, and it worked out pretty well. Okay. So you want to get right into it? Sure. Perfect. Yeah. So for starters, three low, standard, three diviner, standard, and one trius. Uh, it's fine to open this. It's like one of the less bad bricks to open, uh, be just because you can like tribute this, or like you can tribute a low just to dodge like an imperm. Uh, it's also like an interrupt in your grave because if you have like two lows on board, you can just launch out your pop card, which comes up a lot. Uh, it came up in my round seven, uh, and it also helps make like chaos angel. It helps. It's an extra body to make like links as well because I, I made I can. Okay. Um, no reason not to play three of each. Uh, you can't really play Diviner unless it's less than, uh, unless it's exactly three. Uh, I'd play more if I could, but I mean, that's how it is. Uh, three Sephira, because it just says search, you know, two pieces of the three. Because, like, in every ritual deck, you have to have, like, uh, a way to ritual, a ritual monster to summon, and also a body to ritual with, right? And Sephira is two thirds of every one of those situations in this deck. So uh, there's no reason not to play three. Uh, it's a dragon, which is sort of relevant uh, for something in my side deck. Uh, level six is annoying, but it's not that big of a deal. In game uh, against flu round six, I believe, I had to tribute under shifter. I went, I had to tribute these because it makes eight, uh, it makes higher than the, the seven requirement for a guardian. And that's how I went off of that. Um, so, it, so it does come up, but very good card. Uh, once Ravis, this card sucks. I hate this card, but you have to play it because it helps you push, it helps you interrupt, it helps with quite a lot of stuff, especially with the recycling, because one problem I did run into a lot was just like keeping the uh, ritual spells in the deck as much as possible, just because like you need them to make Sephira alive, you need them to make pre-prep alive. And not playing this is um, like, you're no point in playing the deck then. You have to play it. Uh, to Guardian, uh, to Ceravis. I think that uh, the Odd Ice card is really bad. I don't like it. Um, opening this is fine because it helps dodge Imperm and Valor, which is super common in this format. Uh, maybe I might play a third Guardian just because like it's fine to open. Just because like you get like Ashed on like Sephira a lot and, or like Belden Sephira. So uh, like sometimes just opening it is nice. Um, Did you like, ever feel like you needed a third today? No, it never came up. Okay. Uh, so like. I'd consider it down the line, but realistically speaking, I, I think that four was the right number in terms of like ri uh, rituals that I want to play in the deck. Oh, Without, like sense. adding too many cards that claw. Okay. Uh, three of this, it's the best card. Uh, one of this because it's a trap and you don't want to play more than one as a result. Uh, good card. I tried to put it on the board as much as possible. Um, it, there's like situations where like you can like end on IP guardian low if you place this instead of this, but uh, it depends. It's very hand dependent. So. Um, and it's good. it was good either way. Uh, then two ritual spell because you don't want to play three and you don't want to play one just because uh, three clogs and one is really bad, especially against like the shifter decks. Uh, then I played three pre prep. Uh, same thing as Sephira, gives you two pieces of your uh, ritual summon, so there's no reason not to play three. Like, I got the argument for like you could play two because it's a hard once return, but I think that's there's no point in cutting good cards from your deck. So I don't believe in that. I think th you gotta play three. If you are cutting it, like, okay, I know you wouldn't, but what would you even put in for it, right? Like, oh, well, my better. deck's 42, so yeah. the only thing I would do is cut it. If I were to cut it down to two, then it would just put it down to 41. But, okay. Uh, the math kind of worked out to where I wanted to play like a lot of like search stuff anyways, cause like no one's playing Droll either. Mm -hmm. So it was very easy for me to just like play. Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, and same vein, two pros, comes up sometimes. Uh, I have the third in the side deck because of siding pattern stuff. Okay. Uh, it was it was really good, and this is a card I want to see less than this, uh, because I don't I am fine with opening one of this, but opening two of this is really bad. Um, whereas like opening two of this is fine because it still gets you to like pieces on the next turn too. Okay. Uh, then I played three brand infusion and one Albaz. Uh, this is the probably the only reason to play this deck in my opinion. Um, 
I, I, I get the builds that don't play it, but the thing is, is like, you add, you add so many ways to play through hand traps and you increase the ceiling on your board and like even sure like opening alba sucks but like i've had like i had a game actually in round eight where i like got to normal summon albas after i established like guardian guardian low and just went effect you know pitch and then just fuse with this uh with my opponent's stuff right like it it's like a fine brick to draw and like the utility you get from fusion being an interruption a body a foolish like it it just it's just too good. I think. Yeah, helps you push for game two, right? Game, yeah. uh, like yeah. turns two, turns three. Pushing, yeah. pushing for game is great. Yeah. Um, hand traps, three ash, three nib, three valor, three imperm. Uh, standard, I think, uh, worked really well. I don't think I'd change it. You never uh, got heated for ash, huh? Oh, I got I got heated a couple times, but it, it didn't ultimately matter. So. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, extra deck, two mirror jade, two albion, one rebellion. Uh, you could play two of this, but uh, realistically speaking, you're never making the second Mirror Jade. Uh, but it's just there, in, in, I guess, in theory, right? Um, it's fine. And then the last fusion I played was Entus, which came up once today. Just because, like, you like to have extra targets in your extra deck for uh, when you open Trace and Diviner. Um, and Entus is great for just helping crack boards, so it's yep. nice. Okay, okay. Uh, for the Synchros, I played Chaos Angel, I played Herald. And I played uh, Baron of Floor. Uh, this is standard because you make it with uh, Trius. Uh, you can dump this off of the Diviner, or you can normal summon a hand trap after you special blow and then, then make it, but that doesn't usually come up, so I wouldn't recommend doing it. Uh, this came up a lot because in very simplified game states where you're getting hand trapped a lot, uh, you're gonna have very you're gonna have a lot of situations where you're gonna make a skull guardian, it's gonna get impermed, and you're not gonna have a way to uh, make a real interruption off of it just because like you they lock you out of like access to low, for example, right? Like I had this come up a lot where uh, like I would get guardian negated because I didn't have like access to low and then they would I would just go okay normal like a ash or something make baron and then like you just win in like super simplified game states just because like baron's really good okay uh, then I played typhon came up once it's it's good no reason not to play it and then for links goddess one dynamondo one ip one sp and one anima this came up every game these came up every game I think I summoned this once maybe it's good to have um Arguably, you could play a second one just because it comes up a lot. It helps with the recycling as well, um, but it was fine. Uh, Goddess is for when you get talents with an IP on board because you can like chain IP after you've like Guardian negated ready and then just like link off the board. Um, same reason as like Steve did, so. Uh, so that's the extra deck. And then for the side deck, uh, one pot because it's easy to side out the one Albaz and then you side in a three of for uh, for the brand infusions. So it was good. Um, I only sided it in once, I think, but it was it was good when I sided it because I actually got to see it. Uh, I played three Dark Ruler. This card sucks. Uh, I played it because I was worried about playing mirrors, but I didn't play a single mirror today. So this could be back removal, which I didn't play today. Um, I kind of high rolled it, so never punish it, I suppose. Just, then, just be better. I guess so. Just be better. Uh, I played three strike, which I think is a lot better than uh, summon limit. Never been a fan of summon limit, especially because like, if you're throwing hand traps at each other, there's a high chance that you don't actually end on something on your end board. And if you're doing that, then summon limit is more of a hindrance to you than it is to them, because they're, they're, they're a turn ahead, right? Uh, strike is great because it helps not only like simplify those game states against like decks like fire, but also helps protect your plays for going forward as well. If you open like hand traps to lock them out of the turn, like being able to like strike like a, like an ash on the crackback is great. Um, or like you can like strike like a bell on Dynamondo, which which like comes up in theory. Uh, it's kind of contesting, so it's been nice. Uh, I would definitely recommend playing that. I played three Mourner. This card's just Valor four five six or uh, seventy nine. So it's good. Um, never needed it for time. I didn't go into time ever. Uh, three Ogre. Uh, this card was pretty good. Uh, you just kind of, you do it, the theories is you throw it into the mirror, you throw it into specific other matchups where it's like annoying. This could have been um, Bell, but I'm happy I didn't play Bell last second uh, because my ultimate concession was that if I play Branded, I'm going to lose to it anyways. Uh, and thankfully I didn't play Branded, so it was pretty good. And then the last two cards in my side were Magnumut, Druus Worm. I think I should have played uh, two Druus, one Mag. Uh, these were both really good. This searches engine, so there's like it's, it's just great to open. 
uh, and then like Drew's is just Drew's, it's fine. Uh, like the one thing I was worried about as well was just getting puppet locked and I didn't play Brandon, so we're good. What were your matchups like for the day? Uh, so today I played two Flu, one Snake Eye, one Vanquish, shouts to Steve, uh, one Hero in the finals, which was pretty cool. Um, and then Pearly, can't remember the other decks, sorry. Um, it's but, all good. A lot of meta though. Yeah, a lot of meta. Um, some like random stuff. Oh, I played a Goblin oh, player as well. Okay. That was interesting. Um, but I mean, I didn't have to read the cards because I threw an A at him. <laughs> you just threw an A at him. Yeah. All right, well, congratulations. Thank you. First place, always good to get to see one of the boys get a first place out of regional. Yeah. Uh, congratulations again. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys did. Do you have anything else before uh, we uh, no, I head out? It. Perfect. Yeah. All right, see you guys later. Peace.